So, as a kid, I grew up in Connecticut. We had a pretty small house, so we didn't have any room for a cool animal like a cat or a dog or a monkey. And our parents really didn't want to get any pets for us. But one day, after a lot of pleading, I guess, our parents decided that we could have a pet. For my mom, it was basically between hermit crabs and fish, but she had a dark history with fish that I'm not going to go into detail about. So we came to the conclusion that we'd get hermit crabs. Hey kids, we're going to get hermit crabs. What the heck is a hermit crab? We didn't really know what hermit crabs were, so we did some research and then went to the pet shop to pick up our crabs. At this point, I had an older brother and a younger sister. We each got our beautiful hermit crabs that day. My older brother got a crab that he named Hermit. A real original name for sure. I picked a crab that was medium sized and had a sick purple claw. I named him Rex. Because I thought it was so cool. Then my sister. Oh, my sister. She picked the biggest crab, of course. Some buff dude that I'm sure all the other crabs were afraid of, you know? It was a big hermit crab. She named it Loveheart because she was a little girl who liked princesses and the color pink, so of course any animal should be named Loveheart. Now we all had our crabs. They were all kind of misfits in a way, so it was beautiful seeing them all bond together in a bag on the car ride home. We had many amazing years with these crabs. I think. Never mind, I just looked it up. It says they only live for like a year in captivity. Actually, it says they live for like 30 years when they're in their natural environment. Dang, that's depressing. We took away 29 years of their life. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'll highlight a few interesting things about our crabs. Loveheart was too long of a name, but my sister insisted that her crab was a girl, so we called her Big Mama. We always thought that Rex and Hermie got along, but now that I think about it, maybe not. Purple-clawed hermit crabs have, like, super strong claws. I remember being super proud of my buff hermit crab. Anyways, one day Hermie just, like, lost an arm. Nobody ever figured it out, but I swear Rex was giving him mean looks that whole day. Actually, Hermie lost multiple arms. I think Rex went a little overboard. And they were both kind of scared of Big Mama, so they generally stayed away from her. The funny thing is that hermit crabs are meant to change shells as they grow and change and become older. So we provided ours with plenty of shells to choose from, and we waited. They literally never change shells. Maybe that's why they died. I remember we liked to make a treadmill out of our hands and let them run by placing one hand in front of the other over and over again. I tried it one time with Rex, but he was a speed demon. He ran so fast I couldn't keep up with his pace and he ran right off the edge of my hand. I also remember that we kind of had a competition going based on how much they pinched you. We literally based our ideas on how much they loved us based on how much they pinched us. Luckily for me, Rex must have loved me because he only pinched me once. It actually hurt a lot since he was a purple clawed crab. I cried like all day, but more because I was sad that he must not have loved me than because I was hurt. We had an amazing year or so with our crabs until one day Hermie died. I remember the exact date that he died, and the only reason I do is because it was on my brother's birthday. That must have sucked. We buried him in the backyard. Next came Rex. I can't exactly remember when he died, but it was sometime close to after Hermie died. We also buried him in the backyard. Lastly, Big Mama passed. We will never forget them. Rest in peace, Rex, I will never forget you. Right now, type rip Rex, we will never forget you in the comments to pay your respects. If you don't, I'll be sad. I hope you liked this video today. Make sure to like and subscribe so that I won't be sad anymore. Also, I kind of want to make another video about my dog. Should I? Tell me in the comments. Okay, bye. Hello everybody, welcome to this end card. Now the first thing I need to say is, I'm sorry it took me so freaking long to get this video out. It's been like a month and it's never taken me this long before. I was just kind of getting a bit lazy at the first half of the month, so this one took a bit longer to get out. But I'll change that in future uploads. So, I normally don't do shoutouts because a lot of people like ask me to do shoutouts and stuff, but I don't really feel like I should give shoutouts unless they're well deserved. So I have two this week actually. The first goes to HBO Joe. He's just a little animator, and I met him when he asked me for some voice lines, but his animations are really, really good, and um, you should all go subscribe. I'll put the link in the description. And the second person is King Munch Animations. He's also really good, also really small. They both really need more subscribers, and I, I'll, I'll do what I can do to help out, so his link will also be in the description. Make sure you go check him out.
Also, I've been gaining quite a decent amount of subscribers recently, so I would like to say hello to all the new people that I've been meeting. I hope you enjoy the content, and I'll be able to make more of it, and, uh, yeah. Last thing is, thank you all so much for all the fan art. I've received a massive amount, and normally what I do is I'll spread out the amount of fan art that I use in each video, so I have some if I run out, but this time I decided to put it all in, so there's going to be quite a decent bit, and there's been a lot of good fan art recently, so thank you all for that. Also, I recently figured out a way to get Adobe Animate CC, so um, basically I'm going to restart my animating career thing, so the next video is going to be a bit different. But don't worry, it'll be fine. So I gotta go now and uh, stay fresh.